everybody and welcome to mystics mmos i'm your host mr craven all right i'm back and i just finished leveling up my atomic tune to level 30. now becomes a very important question how am i going to get my combat rating or cr at the highest point that i can get once i hit level 30. and in this video i'm just going to demonstrate how you can kind of get at a higher CR rating as fast as possible. Now, in DCUO, we have events, right? So I'm going to give you a couple pointers and tips in this video. When you do these events, you can do them at a low level, right? <clears throat> and when you do them at a low level, you're going to get currency. Bank that currency. Very, very important to bank it. Do not use it. Bank it. Also, it's also important to note that we're also going to get what we call scaled gear. Now, in this video, I have demonstrated here a couple of scaled gear pieces that I'm going to also bank. So I want to bank the currency and I don't want to utilize the scaled gear. I want to save that until I hit level 30. But even when I hit level 30, I don't want to use it right away. I'm going to show you some tricks. Okay, so I have this gear. It's all scaled right also if you take a look at my current combat rating it is 31 equipped is 30. now when i go into why i'm going to take a look at the eight player content and i can't even do a, even a novice two except no even novice two i don't have enough uh, high combat rating because it's going to be minimum cr 40. now also what you want to do in currency when you bank up uh, event credits you also want to bank your marks of victory. Now, your marks of victory you'll earn as you're questing or leveling up your tune. Make sure to take the main mission and the side missions to maximize your mark of victory gain. This will help you get started in acquiring your first tier pieces. So once I do that, then I want to go to the main area of wherever I'm located. Now, I'm a villain on here, so that's going to be Hall of Doom. Uh, if I'm a hero, I want to be in the Watchtower. But a very important wing on both ends is the, um, I want to say this is the meta wing or something like that. But you want to take a look at the gear. I want to go to 46. I don't have to leave this wing. I want to go to 46. Then I want to go to uh, 57. Then uh, 71. And then 89. Okay. I want to say this is the meta wing. So the first uh, character I'm going to talk to, if I'm a villain, is Metallo. Now, he's going to have a base gear. Now, it's important before I purchase anything to note what I have for scaled gear. So I don't have a chest, I don't have hands, and I don't have jewelry, and I don't have shoulders. So chest, shoulders, and head would be very good pieces for me. But I don't need every piece, but I need the biggest pieces I can get. So I'm going to purchase a chest and I want to put them on one at a time. I don't want to go on a purchasing spree and just keep overloading. Now, if I load over, if I put one on, I can come over to the next vendor, which is Bizarro. Now, if I can purchase from him, he'll show it, but I can't see it's got a lock symbol. So what do I got to do? I got to purchase more pieces. So I want to come back to Matalo. And then I want to get those shoulders. Now, once again, I'm going to go ahead and equip it. And then I'm going to check my CR rating. Now we're up to 35. I'm going to come back over. I think it's around 40 that I can talk to Bizarro. So, okay, once again, it's locked out. Okay, now, here becomes a good thing. I want to take a look at my gear again. I have a waist that can scale. I have legs that scale. I got boots that can scale. But I don't want to utilize this as much as possible yet. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to take the next biggest piece. Now, if I highlight it, I already have that. So 43, 46. If you see these ones, these are kind of low. Some of the other pieces. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take um, the legs. I'm going to equip those now. Take a look at my CR rating. And I think one more piece should do it. And then we're going to take that headpiece. Now, once I take that headpiece, I come in here. I'm going to equip that. Now, I should be able to talk to Bizarro. And this will give me a couple uh, extra marks that I should be able to spend in here. I'm still a little short. That's fine. Okay, 22, 31, 26, 29. So we're going to take that waist. Keep my fingers crossed. Forty two. Now he should talk to me and I'll be able to have one more left over. Uh, no, he's not talking to me yet. Is this the right vendor? Hold on, making sure. 57. Okay. It's usually 40-something that'll start talking to you. But I'm going to have to spend it on the last piece here. 26, 22. 29. Okay. There it is. There's the notification that I've just been tiered up. Okay, now I'm CR 43. And I still can't talk to him, but at least I'm tiered up. Now, what I want to do now is utilize the scaled gear. Because I just ran out of my marks. Now I can go ahead with the scaled sets and see if I'm going to get any better gear. Okay, nothing bigger on that, but I can use this piece as a tank. It's pointless to open up the next leg set because it's not going to be an upgrade for me. I'm going to collect the style and then move back. I'm going to unlock the feet. That's going to be my upgrade. Now I'm going to go ahead and equip that. We're going to use the mask. We're going to check the stats, see if everything's in the green. If it is, it's an upgrade. Go next to the neck. I'm going to save the weapon for last. That's going to be an upgrade. We're going to see the waist. It's not an upgrade, so we'll tank the tank because I use the secondary build. Collect the style. Now we're going to run that trinket. Now I have two trinkets and I'm going to save the other one for a tank. So I'm not going to open up the next and then I'm going to slot that. All right, then we're going to take a look at the belt. Upgrade again. Then we're going to slot this over here. And now we're going to take a look at our back. Actually, we'll open up the weapon now. And we're using hand blasters. So we're going to take that blaster box. Nice upgrade. Now we're going to take a look at the back. Not an upgrade, so we'll take the tank. We'll equip it for the style. Re-equip. Come into our CR. Now we're 48. Okay, so we started off at 30, and we gained 18 points already. Now, from this point, I'm going to take the credits that I've earned, and I'm going to go to the event area, which in this episode, it'll be Titan Island. Uh, coming up, it will be Atlantis. Now I'm going to be over here. I'm going to get two credits for completing 
that mission or one credit for completing the mission. Now, uh, over here is the vendor. Now, first thing I do before I purchase anything, I want to take a look at my lowest piece. 42, 43, 46, 46, 23, 41. So I need hands could be an upgraded piece. And jewelry. So I want to get hands and jewelry as my first priority. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to get the hands. Then I'm going to scroll down and get the jewelry. I want two of those. But I probably afford yeah, I can get two. Okay. Now I'm going to open up. I'm going to unlock the gloves. I uh, forgot I'm scaled. So um, we know it's going to be an upgrade, but let me go back to my house real quick here. Show you guys this because it's scaled, so it's going to show red until I go to my house. So we're going to go to the house, to the lair. Okay, we're going to open up, take a look at that hand we just opened. It is an upgrade. Now we're going to open up the rings. And it'll say what roll, but we're going with DPS. We need two of those. And then we're going to equip them. We're going to take a look at our CR. And now we're at 52. So we gained 22, 21 points just by doing that. Now, but before I do anything else, what I want to do and then just save to my armory. So if I switch out my loadout, everything's banked and I don't have to re-equip it. All right, so just that simple. We go to 52, we're gonna switch out to our tank. You'll see a 23, which my tank CR is. Once this goes down, and we go back and I'm back up to the CR. For the loadout all right so i hope this video helps players who are new to dcuo who or who are building alts and are asking how do i get my cr up that fast there you go there's a couple trick of tricks of the trade and now when i come into the eight player now i'm able to play expert tier two with tier three just one cr point or two cr points away all right there you guys have it once again i want to thank you guys for watching I'm Mr. Craven, this is Mystics MMOs, and as always, have a nice day.